Apple are looking to make a new budget MacBook that will cost around 699 US dollars but could it be coming out in March 2024? Today I want to cover what this new MacBook SE will do for us giving you everything on the specs and the latest on the MacBook SE release date and price too. So first of all, let's talk about why this MacBook SE could be coming. Now if you've been following Apple's progress of sales over the last year or two, you will know that the M1 MacBooks were a massive hit when they came out during the pandemic time. However, not many other people have bought as many and he say M2 or M2 Pro and so on and so forth, MacBooks or Macs over the last sort of 18 months or so. And it's the same for the M3, M3 Pro and the M3 Max MacBook Pros. Apple in their sales report have been hoping that they were selling a few more than they actually did. And now with the release of the new M3 MacBook Airs what have just come out, they're hoping that obviously sales might increase. Now one thing that has been sadly retired with the M3 Max is this one here, the M1 MacBook Air what was a massive, massive hit. And it looks like obviously the new M2 MacBook Air is going to replace this model. However, there still does look like there could be room for another model. We've been told from a report here that Apple are looking to make a budget MacBook Air tweaked on the old design that we have seen before. Well, this design you may have seen before because actually it was the design of the 2015 MacBook that had the 12 inch screen and it was the first to have a USB-C port on the side of it. It's very possible that Apple could tweak this design and add say a MagSafe port and keep that one USB-C port, then put a notch on the top of the screen and put a 1080p camera inside of it and then also put a better keyboard inside of the design because the butterfly keyboard that came with it failed quite often to be fair. Apple could also put the likes of like I said the M2 chipset inside this MacBook and sell it as just the MacBook or even call it the MacBook SE. There are loads of other things I could talk about with this MacBook but I'm gonna have to cover them in another video so make sure you haven't done so already subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because I'll be giving you more details in other videos. But don't forget also guys, in a minute I'll also go over the actual specs that we know so far for this MacBook. This also leads me nicely on to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they will come true, that this new MacBook will even come. I only can present to you of what I've been told and shown and what I'm showing you right here. However, if you are still watching this video then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the next MacBook anyway and also we'll have to find out what the overall design will look like when it actually is released. So then guys, just quickly, I want to talk about the giveaway, what's happening this month in March time at the end of the month. And that is for this MacBook Air that we have right here. And this is no ordinary MacBook Air. This is a specced up one. We have 512 gigabytes of storage inside of it. And we also have 16 gigabytes of RAM, not the standard eight gigabytes. So it's a specced up MacBook Air. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel and it's an international giveaway and all you have to do to enter in is tell me of what technology or Apple products you're hoping to buy in 2024. Put them down in the comments below and also guys if you are brand new here and you want to know when that live stream is going to be happening for this MacBook Air at the end of March time make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to know when that actual live giveaway is going to be happening on this channel. But sadly guys, I just also want to say that still there's lots of people still impersonating me, telling you to Telegram, WhatsApp, part with your money for shipping. This is not me at all. You heard me straight here. I'm gonna be doing a live giveaway, a live stream on this channel. And that is when we're gonna be giving away, announcing who the winner is of this MacBook Air. So if you do get any messages like that, please do ignore them or better still, please do report them as you're seeing right here. So then, next of all, let's talk about the release day. Now, this really does mainly depend on how well those initial sales of the M3 go, and it depends on if this MacBook is even going to be creative. If Apple are doing so well with their M3 devices and selling really, really well, and say lots of people are also buying the M2 MacBook Air along with the M3 MacBook Air, then Apple may not even push out this device. But if the opposite happens, so for example, there aren't that many sales of the M3 MacBook Air, and also the M2 model sales go down too, 
then Apple may bring in this new MacBook SE model. With this then, most likely that any budget MacBook is not going to be coming until after summer in 2024. So the earliest we'll see this new MacBook, if it does even come, will be October or November next year. Apple, like in 2023, are most likely to hold an event around this time and we're expected to either see the M4 MacBooks around this time or even we may even see them in spring 2025. And if this does happen, it's expected that this new budget MacBook is expected to be announced just before that to stop any light being taken away of all the sort of power and performance of the M4 series of the new Mac devices that will have those chips inside of it. So with that out of the way, let's now talk about the specs of this new MacBook SE that is coming out and what we know so far. So if it is going to be using that old MacBook design, then we do actually know quite a bit about this. So we know it's actually a 12 inch LED retina display and the resolution of that one is 2304 by 1440. 40. Don't expect it to be a ProMotion display, it will be a 60 hertz display. At the end of the day, this is, like I say, the budget MacBook. So do not expect all singing, all dancing specs inside of it. It's just enough to get you into the MacBook family. And with that then, guys, what you're going to get is you're going to get 256 gigabytes of storage or a 512 gigabyte storage option, most likely. And then, like we said, we will not get one of the newest chipset inside of it. We'll probably still just have an M2 chip set and remember guys this will probably just coming out before even the m4 comes out so with that you will either have the 8 core cpu and this will come with either a choice of the 10 or the 12 core gpu it's most likely this will still be a fanless design like the mac air because this can do that so we're expecting that and also for ram options it will either be 8 or 16 gigabytes of ram it's unlikely or even to feature the 24 gigabyte that you can get on a mac air because at the end of the day like i say this is meant to be a budget MacBook. The actual design will be an aluminium design or aluminium body design. We'll have one MagSafe port and probably just one USB-C port too with that on the actual side of the MacBook. We will also probably still get the headphone port and everything like that but the colours will probably just be standard space grey, silver and gold and then the tweak design will actually have that centre stage webcam that will be a 1080p webcam in the top there. The battery life is expected to be up to about 50 15 hours because at the end of the day the smaller MacBook Air gets up to 18 hours and this is a slightly smaller design so we're expecting to get 15 hours with that M2 chipset and then the price with an 8 gigabytes of RAM and that standard 256 gigabytes of storage and also the smallest M2 chipset inside of it with just the 10 core GPU expect prices to start at 699 US dollars or if you wanted to go for the 512 gigabyte option, still with 8 gigabytes of RAM, it'll probably cost you about 899 US dollars. But there we go, that is a summary of the new MacBook or MacBook SE. And for my thoughts, I'm super excited to see a MacBook like this. The last time we actually had a budget MacBook stopped back in 2012, and this was a plastic white design. Now, obviously, Apple did bring out a new MacBook, that's what they just called it, and this was the one that was in 2015 and also updates in 2017. And this is the design you can see here. But at the time when that came out, that was actually even more expensive than the MacBook Air that was out at that time. But I would love to know what your thoughts are on this new MacBook and also would you be interested in buying one like this? Let me know in the comments below. And on top of that as well guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure you like this video and at the same time you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons. Please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.